Hi guys, and today's video, or today's vlog, is going to be about can I still use this as a digital camera as opposed to the compact cameras I've been using? So is this camera which I use for other things, but it's a bit old, any use as a film or vlogging camera? So yeah, I know, I hear saying, what's the point, why? Well, last year I did a challenge on Instagram with an old digital camera. This old digital camera in particular, Sony 150. It is a 15-year-old camera, maybe more, um, 7.2 megapixels. And I was trying to compare between old and new digital cameras. Now, you see a lot of people on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff with film cameras, and they're comparing older film cameras, they've gone away from digital to older film. Thing with an old film camera, or even a new film camera, if you can get a sort of relatively new film camera, there's no real difference in the image quality at the end. So yes, they have different exposure modes and all that sort of stuff, but the actual quality you get is on the same film, and film technology hasn't really changed for donkey's years. So if you've got a 50-year-old or 20-year-old or 30-year-old or 10-year-old film camera, they're pretty much the same image quality you're going to get from them. Now, digital cameras and digital technology is different because digital technology you require megapixels and sensors and computers and processing and all that sort of stuff. So a 7.2 megapixel camera, then most of these now cameras are sort of 30 megapixels, 60 megapixels and more 100 megapixels. The technology is a lot better than it is with this, although the results from this weren't that bad. So with the Canon Ligra, or Leisure, whatever you want to call it, this is a camera I've been using for a little while for doing my watch videos because it's all right for doing close-up stuff. It is broken. There's an element missing out of the lens. So it's got a plastic bit that should be at the front that allows it to focus. So it only focuses a short distance. And I've been using it mainly indoors. I've been watching some other videos, Marcus Picks and so on, saying about camcorders. And camcorders are, in many ways, better than the other cameras, compact cameras that we use for filming vlogs and YouTube stuff. But new ones not this old one this one's an old one the big difference is it has a decent screen they have good battery life which is the main thing with these battery life on these is brilliant they can last for ages and ages and ages and they don't overheat whereas the smaller compact cameras and those sorts of things tend to overheat the other thing they usually have is a better lens they have a good zoom lens the lens is in here so this is sort of the body is the lens itself and that gives you a great zoom range if it's working properly. I so said this one, unfortunately, it doesn't. Previously, the zoom on it was really, really good. But I thought maybe can I use it outside for other things as a B-roll or something like that? I do film or use Sony cameras at the moment. Sony ZV-1's filming this, which is a 4K camera. So it will do 4K. It will do 4K 60 frames per second. It will do 1080, 120 frames per second. But it's also got slow motion 960 and so on but i've also got the sony alpha which is for photography i don't use that for filming but it could film at 1080 and i've also got the very compact small sony wx350 which is a compact camera small one but with quite a decent zoom and this again will film in 1080 so i can film in 4k on my sony zv1 which you're watching the GoPro and the drones and my phone will all film in 4K, but I only ever film in 1080. So the Canon, as I said, has a good zoom lens. This is a 1080, so it films in HD, 1080, 720. Microphones built into this. There's no external microphone connection points or anything like that on this and it has no settings as such it's got 50 frames per second or 25 frames per second that's it there's no um bit rates or anything like that so you can't do massive massive high quality stuff with it but 1080 should be 1080 well yeah not really if you look at this beach shot unfortunately the beach shot that i'm showing you is out of focus um, whereas on the Sony, I got it in focus, there's Sony WX350 is in focus. Um, there is a difference, you can see a difference. Now, the sea wasn't too bad, actually. It was quite a nice day, a bit blustery. Not like the other day, I went out the other day after the storm and I was on my way to work on a Sunday and yeah, these people were swimming. The sea temperature was about seven degrees, apparently. The outside temperature was only three degrees, between two and three, so yeah, not so nice. So I've been taking a little cannon out about with me.
and you know it, it, the sound on it is very good it's got very highly sensitive microphone stereo microphone in the front the problem is as i said when i use it for my videos for watches it's got a small mic on the back big one on the front so it picks up most of the sound from the front so sometimes i have to boost the sound when i'm recording as you'll notice when i'm outside with it it's really really loud although the crows were loud or ravens or whatever they were so the sound quality is quite loud and sharp however the picture quality as you can see isn't it's quite soft um and the focusing is not as i said not brilliant anyway but it's a sort of a softish looking image colors are a bit wishy-washy and it's probably not that good i don't know if it'll be any good for doing say maybe a bit of grainy gritty work with if you wanted to make a film and use it maybe in um i don't know because that grainy old look which you can see here but or maybe even see what it looks like in black and white that is one of the downsides to this of course is that this the lens on this isn't that wide at all it's quite a tight telephoto lens so trying to film yourself even when i held it out as far as i possibly could even in the nice little country village that i was out in doing filming it just you couldn't get yourself you only get like a full face picture so again on a tripod i mean this has got full face tracking so it's got lots of features on it but you'd need it on a tripod from some distance and then as i said it's still not getting the quality unfortunately but I will carry on with it. I will find uses for it. There may be something I can find that I can do with it, as I said, to make odd films and stuff. And I'll keep using it for watches when and if I do watch reviews. And this again does 1080. Again, it hasn't got a massive amount of frame rate, stuff like that. So this one is actually better to stick it in the movie mode and the intelligent movie mode. And it's really good at doing close-ups. The macro on this is really, really good. And the colours look better and it looks sharper. Although they're both 1080, this being a small modern ish modern ish it's newer modern ish camera has a much better quality to it so and it's much smaller to cart about the downside to this and the other sony the sony alpha the 5000 that i use for photography and i'm going to use this for photography as well the downside of both of those which you don't get with the zv1 is the microphones on these are right on the top there's no microphone input on this or the alpha and the microphones on them are absolutely useless they pick up a great amount of sound but they also pick up a lot of motor noise and the motor noise is coming from the lens so when your lens is open and the camera's on you get a lot of a sort of a buzz because there's a motor in here constantly focusing the lens because it's auto focus even in manual focus it's still doing stuff it's still fiddling around and because of that the microphones on the top pick it up these are good for doing b-roll and going out with and i'm, I'm going to use this a lot more than i have been this is going to be good used for going out doing videos like i did the out shopping at valentine's day and all that sort of stuff without the sound you need to basically film and then add music over it or record sound separately which i don't bother doing because i've got the zv1 the zv1 is fantastic for recording sound so i can have external microphones big ones small ones on top top microphones are even good because it doesn't pick up the motor noise on that so there's many options I can use with that one. So I don't need these for sound. I can do these just for filming and videos, that stuff. And something else also with this isn't as wide an angle as again on the ZV-1 or as wide an aperture. That's got a much wider aperture than this. But again, for B-roll, that's not a problem at all. So it will get some use. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned. Hit the like button if you like what you see. Hit the subscribe button to see more of what you like you see. And yeah, cheers guys.